Hi, welcome to the high desert of Arizona. Where it's beautiful and sunny today and oh no. <laughs> what is this white stuff here? Uh let's see. Hmm. Really white, huh? <coughs> Maybe our children. Oh. Uh, I wish you were here. Because look at that. Makes a nice snowball. And I think we could even have a little in a long fight, but then I wouldn't have a cameraman. <laughs> so, um, but we're here today because when I look at the snow, it makes me think of a lot of things. Um, having fun, but I'm also housewife. So, I think about when I want to do some laundry. And um, you can look at my jacket. And maybe you can see that I have a little problem with my white jacket. So look at that red mark on it there. I'll have to try to find a way to scrub that out. Mm, maybe I can use this white snow to... Mm, it's not working too good. Uh, I think that's going to work. Well, how about this? Every woman knows that baking soda. Just put a little baking soda in your laundry. Scrub it with some water in it. Mm, it's not working too good either today. Um, but when everything else fails, ah, this has been around a long time. The box is kind of old. Huh? Gross. 20 mule team borax. Shows right on the back here. And on the front. Look at what it does to your laundry. It's a really clean and white. But um, right now, I need my jacket to keep me warm. So, can't do that. You know, besides being laundry clean and a lot of fun with snowballs, um, something else when I think about white. And it's actually from verse in the Bible. The Bible talks about snow. Maybe you didn't know that. Um, David. David was a famous king, but he, he did some wrong things. And he felt very bad. Do you feel bad sometimes when maybe you tell a lie or you kind of mean to someone? Uh, most of it's so what's called guilt and bad. Well, David felt really bad. He did some terrible things. So he prayed to God and he said, God, purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Well, I don't think David used baking soda. God didn't really have that there, I think. And he didn't use borax. Um, even water. Did your mother ever tell you to go wash your hands again? It didn't look very clean. You know, more soap, more water. You can't see the germs. You can't even see the guilt, can you? But it's there, isn't it? It's like in your, in your heart. Well, David knew that he needed his heart washed. So he prayed to God. And there was another person in the Bible that wrote about snow and that sort of thing. And his name was Jeremiah. Um, and maybe you're glad your name isn't Jeremiah. It's kind of hard to remember. But Jeremiah said, You might wash yourself with baking soda. You might even use plenty of soap. But God, the Lord, and the King... He says, I can still see the stain. It's still there. And your guilt is still covered. Well, if you ever struggle with guilt, it's not very good. It doesn't really go away. You can try to get real busy or um, do other things. Maybe even watch a lot of TV or something. But it's still there. But you know what? God has a way that we can get rid of those stains. Um, maybe it's not the way that you think about, but it's God's way. And that way is through letting Jesus take care of your sin. Sin is what causes us to have guilt. Sin is the result of us choosing to do what we want to do and not what God wants us to do. Well, you might say, how do we know what God wants us to do? 
It's in his word, the Bible. And he tells us things like, don't lie, don't steal, don't really use anger against your brother, your sister, or and, and don't talk back to your mom or dad. He doesn't like that. That's wrong. So what does he say about what to do about it? Um, maybe you remember an old song you sung it, Sunday school or heard it, but there's a really great song that a man named Robert Lowry wrote a long time ago, even before I was born. And these are the words, and I'll sing one of the verses, but I want to say the words so you can hear them, and then maybe uh, your Sunday school teacher or your mom or someone will teach you these words. Robert Lowry said, What can wash away my sin? Sin is like that red mark on my jacket. I uh, wish it wasn't there. It makes it so bad. Cut it up. We want it washed away. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Blood? That's like, look, red. Like the ink that was on this tissue. It looks kind of red. That's, that's what got on my jacket, too. The ink. That's sort of a white. It's red. Well, let's keep reading. What can make me whole again? Whole, like complete. Um, nothing missing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Then Robert Lowry talks about for my pardon. This I see. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, this my plea. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not any more hand washing or trying to be nice for a few days to make up for when you were bad. That doesn't work. Nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Atone is to make something covered. Uh, to where it it's really gone, but it's, it's covered and removed um, in Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Righteousness is back to that original condition of being right with God. Not having that guilt and that sense of shame and wrong. Well, how do we do that? Well, remember we said it's sin that causes the stain. Another one of our songs talks about a um, hymn writer wrote, Lord Jesus, I long to be perfectly whole and apply thine own blood and extract every sin. Get that stain and sin out of there. To get this cleansing... I all things forego. Help me to make a complete sacrifice. I give up myself. Um, now we're getting into things that maybe seem really hard to do or you don't understand, but they're they're really not hard. Jesus said if we would come to him and just tell him, I know God, I've done these wrong things, and I know they're wrong, and I know that I'm wrong with you. And I do want your forgiveness. And I do want you to come and live and give me, uh, live in my life. Be part of my life. Rule my life. Be my, the one who tells me how to live. And I don't want to do those bad things anymore. And we ask Jesus to come to forgive us because that's why Jesus had to die on the cross. The blood we talk about was his life his life blood that he gave so that we can have our sins forgiven. And God, by his spirit, can help you to understand that and to say, yes, I know that I sin and I I cannot change myself. I can't keep scrubbing or washing and get right with God. I can't try to be nice to other people. Those things won't work. And then to trust that truly Jesus is God He's God's son, and he came because he loved us, and he has mercy. He wants he wants us to be with God forever. 
and to live with God forever. So uh, think about what we see here. No, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's white. It looks clean. Um, and think about your own heart. Do you want your heart to be clean and fresh and new? And even in the desert, when we get snow, it makes things look so beautiful. And then look to Jesus. Tell your mother or your dad or your friend. If you're an older person, tell someone. You know, today I thought about sin and I thought about snow and I thought about being pure and clean. And I just came to Jesus. And I know He's changed me. I have a new heart. Clean and fresh and new. Let me know about it if you do. Thank you and God bless you today.